Hey, what is up everybody? This is Jason with devslopes.com and in this video, we are going to create the content that is in this banner section. So we are going to create uh, the header and the text here and then we are going to create this card with the text in here. All right, and we're gonna leave the buttons alone for right now. So first thing, let's go over to our HTML and see what kind of classes we're gonna be working with. So over here in our HTML, in this uh, next section, we can see that we created the uh, banner container and then we've already created that container class. And then this is where we're gonna start working with the uh, headers and the text. So we've got a home title class, a uh, B text, which is banner text. And then down here we have the banner card and the banner title, uh, the banner video, which is an image and not an actual video in this example. And then we have the uh, card text and then there's a card button. So let's go ahead and because uh, we're gonna be working with uh, banner content, why don't we go ahead and in our layout folder create a banner partial. So go ahead and in the uh, layouts here, new file, we're gonna make this a partial and simply call it banner. All right, cool. So we've got our banner in here and we're gonna go ahead and add some styles to this to start working with first the uh, header text. So we've got that um, class on there called home title. All right, and let's give this a font size. Um, we're gonna give this a font size of 40 pixels. And I could create a variable for this. We've created enough variables already, so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw in a uh, pixel size here. And then we want that text to be a lot heavier, so I'm gonna give it a font weight of 700. And then I need this, uh, this text. Let me show you here. Just like what we have uh, here, we need this to suck up just a little bit. If you see on our page, it's in the middle, and I want it to be more even with the image here. So to do that, I'm gonna work with some margin and we're gonna do negative uh, 50 pixels from the top, zero uh, from the side, and we're gonna give this uh, 20 pixels of margin on the bottom of this header. All right, and then next, uh, let's change the color of this. So we're gonna change the uh, color here and we're gonna use our uh, brand primary color. Awesome. So now we have some text that we need to work with underneath that. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab the uh, B text, the banner text class. And then to this, we're going to give it a font size and let's grab our uh, font size, or it was the font uh, large here. Give this uh, some large font. And then we're gonna make sure that the margin on this is uh, set and we're gonna go ahead and set that to um, zero from the top, left and right but we'll give it uh, 20 pixels from the bottom. And what we did, did here is took this text here and gave it some margin at the bottom so that the button is going to be pushed down. And we didn't have to do anything with the top of the text because we already added that margin to the bottom of our header here. All right, so with this, um, we're gonna give this uh, text some color and we're gonna simply grab our white variable and then we'll give this a font family of that Mr. Roboto. Have you ever heard of that uh, Mr. Roboto song by Styx? It's a good song, I dig it. <laughs> and then let's give this uh, some padding to the right of 25 pixels because we wanna make sure uh, that this is pushed over just a little bit so it's not hugging the edge of that banner container that we created. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and come back over here. We're gonna refresh this and something's broken. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, terminal and see what we have going on. Everything's looking good, so let's dive back over to our CSS and breadcrumb this thing. All right, so back over to our text editor. Um, let's double check our class names. And where are we? Home title and B text. That is perfect. And you know what? I already have a hunch. I know exactly what it is. Uh, we haven't imported this yet. I knew it. That's why you do it immediately. As soon as you create that partial, you got to remember to import it. Otherwise, you're going to run into issues like that. So banner. Cool. Now let's go over here and refresh this. And there we go. That looks a lot better. 
Uh, let's move on over to the right side of this and get that card set up. So again, the card is uh, part of this banner layout. So why don't we go ahead and create those uh, card style rules inside of here. I'm gonna hit enter and then the first class on this is going to be the B card. All right, and what we wanna do with this is we need to build some shape to it and you saw that it had a backdrop shadow to it. So I'm gonna give this a padding of 40 pixels and this is going to give some room around the content that's inside of this, uh, some breathing room. And then let's do a text align of center. And then I'm gonna give this a color of our white. And then let's uh, throw on that uh, background. And we want this, uh, we're gonna create that really cool effect where the card is the same color as the uh, banner background container, but then we're gonna add that backdrop shadow to it to look like it's like a card lifting off of that, uh, that banner container. So we're gonna add the uh, background color and we're gonna do that variable we have with the base dark. All right, that's the same color that we set to our banner container. And then this is where we get to create the box shadow. So let's do a box shadow and um, we're gonna do the uh, X and Y axis zero, and we're gonna give it a 20 pixel spread. And then we're gonna use an RGBA. Here we're gonna add some uh, transparency, just a little bit uh, to this color. And what we're gonna do is make this uh, all black, and then give it an opacity of uh, 0.5. All right, so that was pretty easy. Let's go ahead and check that out right now. I wanna see what it looks like. Give this a refresh. Check that out, look how nice that looks already. Uh, let's keep uh, moving on with the, uh, the header here and then the, uh, the text. So we've got another class here and I'm gonna go ahead and nest this inside of here, keep things organized and in a hierarchy. And we're gonna call this the uh, B title. And then inside of here, what we're gonna do is do a font size and we're gonna set this to 27 pixels. And then we're gonna give it a font weight of 700. We want this to again be as bold as the uh, other header that we used up here. And then let's give this a color. We're gonna do a different one here. It's on a black card. We're gonna give it a color of the, uh, I think it is a base uh, light. All right, let's do that. And then give it some uh, margin here and we only wanna add just a little bit of margin to the bottom, so we're gonna ignore the top and the sides and just simply add 15 pixels to the bottom of this. And then remember, right underneath this, uh, we have an image that we're gonna be working with, and it, it's a, I put a video in it because I think it would be really cool uh, if somebody had a video there, but uh, for this example, I just threw in an image. Probably should have changed the class name, but that's okay. So we're gonna call this a B video and this is a class, so make sure you add that there. And this is going to just have a margin of auto, well, auto and then 15 pixels, and then we want to add a zero here. So what we did is we said zero margin from the top, right and left, auto, so it auto centers uh, that content, and then 15 pixels from the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out in the browser. I'm gonna go ahead and do a refresh and that's looking really good. So let's look at this. Um, I feel like this text is a little bit uh, smashed, so why don't we go ahead and spread this out? It looks too crunched to me, and I can tell that our card here is snugging the left side a little too much, so we can actually uh, change this with uh, two styles here. So back over into our text editor, um, let's fix that line height. So we can simply go ahead and add a line height here. And I believe in our variables, we set the base line height to 1.25. But I think since this is a banner section and the text is a little bit larger, uh, we can actually increase that. So we're gonna do a 1.7. And then right over here is our card uh, class. And this is where we're gonna you know, push it over just a little bit. So why don't we give it some margin left of like 50 pixels? That way it's gonna you know, push it over and give us some space between this uh, left side here. So I saved that, refreshed it, and that looks 100 times better. 
So I love it. Let's, uh, let's keep moving on. That is a wrap for this lesson. We've gone ahead and uh, styled our headers and adjusted the fonts and built a really cool uh, card component here. Thank <laughs> you.